Joke Vlog. Okay, so there was this Nobel Prize uh, winner, James Watson. He was part of a team that discovered the double helix formation of DNA. whoop de doo What effect does that really have on your life? Not a lot. So anyways, he said some things that, and this is wishy-washy reporting of what we have today, of course, right? The report is that he said some things about race, that average blacks and whites IQ scores are indicative of scientific examples. Like, there's science to prove that the average white guy is smarter than the average black guy. And this is not PC, and therefore he needs to be in trouble, right? So he gets honorary titles stripped. Does that mean he's not a doctor anymore? Or is it just the doctorate he got from such school because we just want to honor somebody and get some kind of story in the newspaper today? Is it just those kinds? Like, Bill Cosby had a doctor thing uh, revoked from somewhere, so he's not like the honorable Dr. Cosby, right? None of that, but this isn't the first time this sort of thing has been brought up. There was an episode of Through the Wormhole, with Morgan Freeman, scientists say, you know, well, there was uh, one scientist who was talking about how genes that there are races that may exhibit signs that give them higher cognitive thinking, and therefore you end up with the Jews are smarter than the black. And when you have that argument and you say, hey, there's some scientific information here, look at how many, uh, if you look at data and you call it science and it's not actually science, you end up with scientific information. That's what I'm learning from all this stuff. Well, there's a study show, studies are, hey, I have a doctorate and, um, I don't really want to work in the real world, but I want to play video games all day and then call that a study. And so can I just get a grant? There's your study. Well, how does the video game affect someone? You know, you come up with the data you want. You show the data that supports your argument and there you go. Now you've proved your point. That's what scientists have become. They're scammers. They, they lord this doctor shit over you and you're supposed to be impressed and believe them. But don't take the bait, guys. So you say, look, look at how many how many uh, Jewish people get into these higher levels of education, how educated they are, how they fill the ranks at Harvard, all this stuff. Well, who's doing the accepting over there? Because if you have a minority calling the shots, they're going to bring in more of the same group. They're the ones that are going to get the push. And then all you do is say, oh, well, that just supports our data right there. If most colleges had black people doing the accepting, I think you'd see a lot more black people in college than to come up with this data to say, well, blacks aren't educated. Like, that's one way of going about this. If you actually look at the data, you can come up with something people are going to call racist. But then if you see through the data, you can be like, oh, maybe it's racist for another reason. And there you have it, episode 46 of the recently canceled podcast, the free version, the one spliced up and put over on the YouTubes. If you want to check out the whole thing when it's ready, days ahead before it gets posted on YouTube, Go ahead and hit up my Patreon. It's only one buck a month to get you full access. That's patreon.com forward slash Von Fry.